One of the core concepts in Node is the concept of events. In fact, a lot of Node's core functionality is based on this concept of events. An event is basically a signal that indicates that something has happened in our application. For example, in Node, we have a class called HTTP that we can use to build a web server. So we listen on a given port, and every time we receive a request on that port, that HTTP class raises an event. Now, our job is to respond to that event, which basically involves reading that request and returning the right response. So as you go through Node documentation, you can see that several classes in Node raises different kinds of events. And in your code, you might be interested to respond to those events. So in this lecture, I'm gonna show you how to work with the events module. Now, back in Node documentation, once again, in the list of modules, you can see here we have this events module. So in this module, we have one class that is called event emitter. It's one of the core building blocks of Node, and a lot of classes are based on this event emitter. So let's see how we can work with this event emitter. Back in VS Code, first, let's load the events module. So require events. Now here, when we call the require function, we get the event emitter class. So constant event emitter. Note that here, in terms of the naming, the first letter of every word is uppercase. This is a convention that indicates that this event emitter is a class. It's not a function, it's not a simple value, it's a class. A class is container for properties and functions which we call methods. So in this event emitter class, we have these methods that you see here in the documentation. So a class is a container for a bunch of related methods and properties. Now here, in order to use this event emitter, first we need to create an instance of this class. So constant emitter, we set this to new event emitter. So here, this emitter is an object. In case you don't know the difference between a class and an object, let me give you a metaphor. A class is like human, and an object is like an actual person, like John, Mary, and so on. So a class defines the properties and behavior of a concept, like a human, but an object is an actual instance of that class, okay? So here, this first event emitter is a class. It's a blueprint. It defines what an event emitter can do. But this second emitter is an actual object. This is the one that we're going to use in our application. So this emitter has a bunch of methods. Look, these are all the methods that you saw in the documentation. Now, even though here we have more than 10 methods, most of the time we use only two of these methods. One is emit that we use to raise an event. The first time I saw this method, it didn't make sense to me because English is my second language and I didn't know what emit means. So if you're in the same boat, emit basically means making a noise or produce something. In this case, we're making a noise in our application. We're signaling that an event has happened. Okay, so that's the meaning of emit. Now here, we pass an argument that is the name of the event. Let's say message logged. In the future, we're going to extend our logger module and every time we log a message, we're going to raise an event called message logged, okay? Now, if we run this application, nothing is going to happen. Let me show you. Back in the terminal, node app.js, look, nothing happened. Because we have raised an event here, but nowhere in our application, we have registered a listener that is interested in that event. A listener is a function that will be called when that event is raised, okay? So let's register a listener that will be called when the message log event is raised. So register a listener. So emitter dot, look here we have this method at listener, but we have an alias for this that we use more often, that is on. If you have worked with jQuery, you have seen this before. So on or at listener, they're exactly the same. 
but quite often we use the on method. Now this method takes two arguments. The first one is the name of the event, in this case, message logged. And the second one is a callback function or the actual listener. So here we pass a function and this function will be called when that event is raised. Okay. Now for now, I just want to log a message in the console. So console, let's say listener called like this. Now let's run this application. So node app.js and we got this message listener called. So this indicates that when we raise this event, this callback function or listener was called. Okay. And of course the order is important here. If we registered this listener after calling the emit method, nothing would have happened. Because when we call the emit method, this emitter iterates over all the registered listeners and calls them synchronously. Okay. So this is the basic of raising events and handling them using the event emitter class. Hi guys, it's Mosh here. Thank you for watching my Node tutorial. I just wanted to let you know that this video you've been watching is part of my complete Node course where you will learn everything about Node from the basic to the advanced topics. If you're serious about learning Node, I highly recommend you to enroll in my Node course because this is much faster than jumping from one tutorial to another. It saves you time. Plus, you're going to get a lot of exercises that will prepare you for the real work. And also at the end of the course, you'll receive a certificate of completion that you can provide to your current or future employer. So if you want to enroll, click on the link in the video description. I hope to see you in the course.